check it out. It's Knowledge Born. We'll have the kids in the hall. Brandy X Society is in the building. And um, I am with WBC Magazine all day, every day. You know what it is. For those of the people that don't really know much about like the way reality TV shows work, especially when you're working with a network, what we were doing is we, we had a, a project that we wanted to do for the internet. And uh, but we needed we needed the dollars, we needed the capital. Um, and so we went to Adidas and we were like, hey, you guys are interested in sponsoring this this project we're trying to put together. And we put a proposal, we went to their offices and you know, just gave them a whole spiel, they were with it, they were into it, they gave us the budget we needed. So we went and shot, but then we were like, okay, when we get done shooting it, we're like, where the fuck is it gonna go? So um, once we got Adidas on board, we went and talked to the people at Sucker Free and MTV, and they were interested. So um, we're actually gonna do a season two. We're gonna be in Europe on tour. Um, I can't really disclose all the details of it yet, but I'm hoping that we get an actual run on on, on the actual uh, on the network and not just you know uh, internet love. I, I think we're gonna shoot it much better this time and, and since we generated a lot of buzz with the internet webisodes and shit they were like yo like let's do it again so i think it'll be a lot better this time and you know the process of being in the studio is something everybody sees with the whole idea of being on tour being on the road a lot of that stuff goes unseen so we kind of unveiling i don't know i'm kind of scared to see what happens. <laughs> you know for better or for worse you're gonna see what it's really like to be with artists on tour and I think, I think that overall is the reason why it works. I think a lot of times people do these hokey ass like music shows and shit, but they're all fake and set up. Like we're, we're just being ourselves. And I didn't know if people were gonna be interested in it, but they seem to like enjoy it, you know? If not for any other reason, then it's a real artist who's in a real situation and they're showing you who they are and they're not kind of selling you anything. We weren't selling anything. We were just saying this is who we are. We want you to get to know us. That shit, I'm gonna tell you, the shit was funny. That's what it was. Like I mean, the the, we, we the had, big yeah. girl who sat on the Z at the <laughs> at the party. Nah, G, like the crazy shit is we didn't edit none of that stuff. Like stuff just happens to us and we were like, yo, if we just have cameras follow us, we can make it into a story afterwards. We just like let's just film everything. Yeah. So um it's cool, you know, I, mean, I think people had a perception of who we were through articles and maybe maybe a little bit through the music, but to see the dimensions and the layers and actually be like, oh, this is who they are. Like, this is really who they are. So then they can see you in the street and they really feel like they know you. Like, right. you was like, man, you was at the party. Like, that really happened. So, yeah. you know, you can kind of assess whether you feel like I'm real or not or whether, you know, he handled it like I would have handled it or whatever. It's not like, I'm, I'm normal. I'm as normal as they come and they wouldn't let me in at the door. I went tripping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wanted, you saw, like, everybody was like, man, why you ain't in here? I'm like, man, they gonna let me in. I'm supposed to be here, but I ain't gonna, what, what, what use is me giving all my energy to that, you know? But, yeah, like that's a perfect example. Like if a camera was on me, it'd be like, dum dum dum. He couldn't get in his own in the fucking concert, his own city, but whatever. <laughs> you know what like, so, yeah. so for those who don't know, who are the Danagers? Uh, uh, Dan Salamito and uh, Dan Glogauer. Those are our two managers, yeah. co managers. Right. And, uh, Describe that. Sometimes we manage them, so. <laughs> <laughs> It's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting plot line and how that plays out. Cause you know, like we're friends, and I think sometimes when you do business with friends, the lines can blur when in conversations. So you know, we get in arguments with each other, motherfuckers bring up personal shit. <laughs> it's just like, you know, so we we go through spats. But those are my brothers, those are my managers. They're uh, very competent, very great people. As this dude is, you know what I'm saying, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Knife, you know what I'm saying. He's the man of the hour. He was, I, is this your second time in, in this city in like a week? I feel like yeah. it is. Because <laughs> I definitely saw you on the flyer for Reggie's, and I was like, I was like, is this? It confused me. I was like, is that the right show or is this? I don't know. I'm hitting people like, yeah, you gonna be a Reggie's show? He like, nah, man, that's some other shit. Man, you out here getting paid? See, he be on the low getting paid. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> on the low, he's like, he's like the underground backpacker's dream, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, they, they look at him as like, Jesus, man. Like, talk, like I'm talking to you know, knife, oh my, oh my God. I was like, yo, man, he's, he's cool. He cool as hell, though. He cool as hell, but like, his fans? Man, I ain't His fans? They cool knife? 
my god. How are you? I'm very good. Oh my god. You heard me. You played your beats. Like he breathes like the rest of us. He's normal. He's normal as hell. Very normal. He took me to a barbecue spot. You don't remember that? Like, yo. That night, he played me about 40 beats. They was all cold. Then we went and ate barbecue. And I, <laughs> and I was like, how are you skinny as hell eating this shit at like two in the morning? What's that, Lou? Man, I don't got that, Jack. Man, cause I was, it was good as fuck. I was like, I'm gonna I ate like this. Did you play ball in the school? Man, I played baseball. You played baseball? You played baseball. Don't take that much to the curveball, Jack. Said, look at Babe Ruth, son. I just had to get first base. You know I, mean? <laughs> I wasn't out here playing center field neither. I was like a second baseman. <laughs> and second like baseman was a pretty hard position. Yeah, you know, like I was, I was good though. I'm, I'm talking shit, but I was pretty good. I played college. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No bullshit. I mean, <laughs> this is like, like up the stats. this is like, like up the stats. ten years ago. <laughs> nah, it's ten, nine, eight years ago. Eight, nine years. Ago. What's up? How's it going? Sorry, I see you, brother. How's it going, man? I'm James. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. 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 I was going to believe that I was going to do a very wonderful act.